Thank you, Johnny. Good evening and welcome to VCU's 10 under 10 virtual celebration. My name is Elizabeth Bass, Assistant Vice President for Alumni Relations and an alumna of the School of Social Work. I am thrilled to be with you all tonight. Even if the current pandemic is keeping us from celebrating in person, it will not deter us from showing you how proud we are of this year's honorees. We gather together to honor 11 alumni for their extraordinary accomplishments and exceptional service to VCU and their communities. I especially wanna welcome our 11 honorees and their families and friends who are watching tonight from across the country. Each honoree received a celebration box delivered to their home, which included their personalized award, similar to the one I have here with me. We hope you will enjoy tonight's ceremony and please be sure to tag VCU alumni in any photos from your at-home celebrations. Next, I wanna thank the Sweet Potatoes for their musical performance tonight. The band is made up of four alumni from across the university. Check out the chat for their information. Tonight, as we celebrate, please feel free to use the chat feature to share positive messages of congratulation. Now let's begin. In 2020, VCU's alumni base surpassed 200,000 alumni around the globe. With VCU's immense growth in the past few decades, one third of our alumni graduated in the past 10 years. Some of our finest alumni have been nominated and selected as VCU's 2020 10 under 10. Since its inception in 2015, 10 Under 10 has honored 50 graduates. This evening, we continue to recognize alumni whose professional success, personal achievements, and community leadership have brought them recognition and honored our university. After speaking with all of the 2020 honorees, two major themes emerged. The first, VCU's diversity and urban campus and how important it was to their education. And the second, how a mentor or relationship with a faculty or staff member changed the direction of their career. VCU prides itself on being diverse and creating an environment that allows students to make lifelong connections with faculty and staff. Now we have a message of congratulations on behalf of the university from President Michael Rao. Good evening. I regret that we can't be together to celebrate in person the great achievements of some of our extraordinary alumni. You know, the 10 under 10 awards have always recognized the distinctive achievements of ECU alumni of the last decade. And this year is really special. This is our most diverse 10 under 10 class ever. We're honoring two veterans, five entrepreneurs, alumni of nine different colleges and schools from six graduation years, and seven honorees who represent the diversity of our student and alumni populations. You know, this kind of reminds us all that VCU is really a place for all of us, that we're focused on the success of everyone. Our honorees also remind us of the commitments that we make to each other and to the communities that we're all a part of. They show how together we can change the lives of students so that VCU students can continue to change the trajectory of the human experience for everyone, everywhere. So tonight, we honor a group of alumni who are leading us toward what's next. We also honor the mentors, professors, staff, classmates, and other alumni who help guide them and inspire them. The hallmark of VCU has always been the lifelong connections that we build together, and that is so vividly clear tonight. I'm really proud of our VCU community and our RAM family. I'm also proud of the difference that we make in so many people's lives in so many places. You know, that matters more now than ever. It's a true pleasure to pause and honor some of our very best who I know will inspire others to follow in the great tradition of our institution spirit. So thank you all and congratulations. Special thank you to Dr. Rao for those words of congratulations since we cannot be together in person. This evening's 10 under 10 award winners were nominated by peers and university faculty and staff and were selected by a nomination committee composed of recent graduate council members and past 10 under 10 uh, honorees. As we proceed, I will announce each award recipient and share a short bio. Afterwards, we will hear a message from each honoree 
thanking their family, friends, colleagues, and mentors. Our first honoree this evening is a 2018 graduate of the School of the Arts. VCU is proud to recognize Johannes Barfield. Johannes creates attention-getting multimedia work. His installations embody the Black American experience and how institutions of influence are connected to the amplification and nullification of Blackness. He explores how race, class, and societal influences create and maintain violence. And while his work can be seen as controversial, it's captured critical acclaim. At the Mint Museum in Charlotte, North Carolina, Johannes took home the Best in Show Award. His multimedia pieces shared the floor with work by 44 of his peers from around the US. Now we will hear from Johannes himself. Um, would like to thank my parents, um, also my wife, um, and I, I don't know, just individuals that I, that I cross paths with um, doing, doing this art thing, so. Please join me in the chat to congratulate 10 under 10 honoree, Johannes Barfield. Our next honoree is actually a pair of honorees, 2012 graduates from the School of Business. VCU is proud to recognize Ace Callwood and Justin Kosler. This is the first time that we've had business partners share the award. Ace and Justin have worked together to create multiple innovative businesses ever since they decided to work together on their entrepreneurship senior capstone project. That project led them to create another business idea, Coffitivity, an ambient sound website and app that was named one of Time Magazine's top 50 sites of 2013. Through the ups and downs of entrepreneurship, Ace and Justin founded Painless 1099, a smart banking solution that automatically withholds taxes for freelancers and independent contractors. Unfortunately, they were unable to find a sustainable model and had to pull the plug. But as they say, they have always been able to hustle their way out of rough patches. Their next venture was Equal Sons, a consulting firm that allows them to house their projects, tell stories, and build products, which encompasses both of their core skill sets, Justin as a developer and Ace as a communicator. Now we will hear from Justin and Ace. I definitely want to start off by thanking first my parents, but also Ace's parents. Um, Bernie definitely is clutch. Uh, and, and every business that we've ever had, and including the newest ones. Um, I definitely want to thank the entire Coffitivity and Painless 1099 teams. And uh, there are many of these individuals, but our, our motivating uh, previous investors and mentors, and just to name a few, Todd Knuckles, Eric Martin, Charles Merritt, Nikki Monk, Arnold Kim, John Gavigan, and then Marty Beller as well. Yeah, I love to thank my parents, my, my family. So, uh, you know, Austin, uh, Austin and Bernie, of course. And then uh, my three little sisters, Taylor, Kendra, and Morgan. Um, and in the same way Justin thanked my parents, uh, I, I have to thank um, his, Tim and Tracy, who've just been incredible and, um, you know, that for raising him, but, uh, but also you know, taking me in as well. Um, I've got a couple, couple other family sets of parents. Uh, the Marchettis and the Newtons are, are huge ones, the walk-ups as well. Uh, and then, you know, the folks who have supported our businesses, starting uh, from the entrepreneurship program, Dr. Rutherford, um, just an incredible mentor for me. Um, someone stand out, Mike McGinley, Marty Feller, um, Nikki Monk, and, and the, the list goes on, Art Espy, and, and a host of others who have been involved. Um, so uh, lastly, I, I'd like to thank Justin uh, just for being an incredible partner on a, a wild, um, sometimes fun journey. But uh, yeah, thank you to, to all of those folks and the ones that I am positive I didn't mention, but I uh, think very dearly of. Please join me in the chat to congratulate 10 under 10 honorees, Ace Callwood and Justin Kosler. Our third honoree is a 2012 graduate of the College of Humanities and Sciences. VCU is proud to recognize Martin Michael DeCauna. While Martin was researching effective ways to treat cancer, 
he thought about using laser guided technologies to reduce the side effects of the chemicals in chemotherapy. Martin started Light Switch Bio, whose innovative technology attaches a chemotherapy drug to a molecule that remains inactive until it is illuminated to target cancer cells. The initial application is designed for head and neck cancers developed in partnership with BCU Massey Cancer Center. Light Switch Bio is developing three complementary patents. Martin has presented his work to national and international audiences as a keynote speaker. He recently moved to California to continue his research at the University of Southern California's Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center. Now we will hear from Martin himself. To Diana, um, the love of my life, I do not know what I would do without you because I'm a stupid ass, but you made me a better person. <clears throat> Um, thank you, Ethan and Megan. I'm a better person just because you're there in our life and in my life. Um, Steve Grushman, Matthew Hartman, um, and my friends, uh, you have done everything you could uh, to get the fear out of me and make me a better scientist and make me a better human being. Um, each of you have contributed significantly. Um, Thank God, importantly, because I'm too scared to face life, but God gives me confidence all the time. Please join me in the chat to congratulate 10 under 10 honoree Martin DeCauna. Our next honoree is a 2011 graduate of VCU Life Sciences Center for Environmental Studies. VCU is proud to recognize Chitara Jackson. After finishing her master's, Chitara headed for a small village in South Africa's Northwest province, working in the Peace Corps for two years on a range of community development projects. Chitara continued to spend her time in Africa, helping communities overcome health disparities. She spent time working for the Carter Center and the Ministry of Health on their Guinea Worm Disease Eradication Program. Upon returning to the US in 2017, she enrolled at George Washington University in a master's in public health program with a concentration in global health and epidemiology, which she will finish later this year. Shatara lives by the proverb from the Zulu culture in South Africa, Ubuntu, meaning I am because we are. Shatara's nominator said, given our current situation, being in the midst of a global pandemic, I think Chitara is a timely example of a health worker dedicating herself to others and providing the kind of leadership needed to face the global challenges of today and the foreseeable future. Now we will hear from Chitara herself. I would like to thank Dr. Bonish for nominating me, um, for thinking that I deserve <laughs> this award. Um, that means a lot. Um, I would like to thank my family who supported me through all the craziness of being in conflict zones and people worrying. I, I like to thank my friends who are a huge support system, um, staff at VCU and, and friends at VCU that I gained. Um, and I just, I think without them and their experiences, I don't know if I'd be doing or have done some of the stuff that I've done. Um, so a huge thanks goes out to all of them. Please join me in the chat to congratulate 10 under 10 honoree Chitara Jackson. Our next honoree is a 2010 graduate of the College of Humanities and Sciences and a 2013 graduate of the School of Social Work. VCU is proud to recognize Stephanie Lynch. Stephanie considers herself a classic social worker and a policy practitioner. Her nominator said that her dedication to service is apparent in everything that she does. While her work has often focused on policy areas such as healthcare, mental health access, and criminal justice, the common thread is how it all affects real people, and most frequently, people without the wealth and power to make effective changes. Little did she know, her love for policy would lead her into politics. In 2019, Stephanie won a special election to become the first woman to represent Richmond's fifth district as a city council member. Stephanie believes that local politics is not for the faint of heart, 
and she has thoroughly enjoyed the opportunity to impact and improve the community. Now we will hear from Stephanie in her own words. Well, obviously I have to thank my mom and dad um, who struggled very, 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 very hard to help me financially get through VCU. And um, I wouldn't have been able to do it on my own. And um, so I have to thank them because they're the reason why I was able to get this amazing education and experience. Um, I have to thank, of course, my husband for um, in the latter part, <laughs> my second leg of VCU when I was getting my master's um, and my MSW for being um, such a great support to me and, um, and for my work just generally. He's just an amazing, an amazing support. Um, I also have to thank all of my professors that impacted my life and um, truly, it truly made me who I am and put me where I am today. And I have to thank a little boy who uh, I met in, I won't say his name for privacy reasons, but I met him when I was doing my first student service learning course at St. Andrews Tuition Free Private School. And he also changed the course of my life. And, uh, and it, was after, it was after working with him um, that I decided that I wanted to, to really go um, more in the, the social justice route. Um, he had two parents that were incarcerated. Um, and uh, I, he, he had a profound impact um, on my life. And so that service learning course and all of the service learning courses that enable these two students to get out into their communities and, and really look and see what uh, people in the underserved populations are feeling and feeling and dealing with um, that is, uh, I gotta keep, keep that up and thank you so much for having, get, you know, creating those opportunities and experiences for us. Please join me in the chat to congratulate 10 under 10 honoree, Stephanie Lynch. Our next honoree is a 2014 graduate of the L. Douglas Wilder School of Government and Public Affairs. VCU is proud to recognize Christopher McIntosh. After being in the US Navy for nearly 10 years, Chris has had a long history of service. In the past, Chris led strategy for the state's public safety and digital communication system. His nominator noted, as a professional in emergency and crisis management, it is necessary for Chris to be innovative and think creatively to solve complex problems that are often rapidly evolving and time sensitive. In 2018, Chris founded Bent Ear Solutions, which is a company that helps organizations prepare and respond to emergencies using sophisticated technology tools. Lately, Bent Ear Solutions has helped clients manage the very real world issue of the COVID-19 pandemic. They have responded with a variety of rethought approaches and technologies. Chris continues to give back to VCU. He serves on the recent graduate council and serves as a guest lecturer at the Wilder School. Chris wants to pay it forward to ensure that future industry leaders are well prepared. Now we will hear from Chris in his own words. I really want to thank my wife. Um, while I was going through this program, you know, I was working full time and we had uh, uh, one of our daughters the last semester and I was going full time and couldn't have made it through school without her support and her taking the burden of of taking care of Abby while I was doing classwork in the evening. So uh, I really need to thank her because I, I wouldn't have gotten through it uh, without her, her support. Please join me in the chat to congratulate 10 under 10 honoree, Christopher McIntosh. Our next honoree is a 2014 graduate of the School of Medicine. VCU is proud to recognize Priscilla Posse. When Priscilla was four years old, she broke her arm. That experience helped her decide to become a doctor when she grew up. Now she is attending physician in the Division of Community Pediatrics at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. She's particularly interested in working with underserved communities 
and leadership development for minority physicians. Priscilla's nominator said, her strong commitment to social and health equity, as well as diversity initiatives embodies the core values of VCU. Priscilla knows it is important to advocate for social determinants of health, such as housing stability, good schools, and access to healthy food. She's pursuing a master's in health policy and research. Also, she is a child health policy advisor at the Delaware Department of Health and Social Services. Now we will hear from Priscilla in her own words. For this award, you know, I first like to thank um, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who has given me the skills and the talents to be able to become a physician and give impact to my community. I'd like to thank my family and my mother and my sisters um, and my father that have supported me in many different aspects, uh, financially for one, for my education, uh, you know, but also for the personal support and the continued motivation. Uh, I certainly like to thank many people at VCU School of Medicine, first starting with Dr. Whitehurst Cook, who, you know, accepted me into the medical school and um, Dr. Donna Jackson, both of them who've been a support from day one and, and really wanted to uh, just invest in me and uh, just provide me the resources that I need. Uh, I definitely want to thank Jody Smith who nominated me uh, from the, um, our, who's our director of alumni affairs. Uh, she's actually my project heart leader. So my small group leader from M1 year. And the fact that we have stayed in touch and maintained our relationship, I think uh, shows how committed she is to uh, just supporting all the students and alumni that go through um, BCU MCB. Um, you know, definitely want to thank Dr. Sheldon Retchin. So I, I mentioned him as being one of my favorite faculty members. Uh, he is uh, just one of my favorite people, my mentors. Uh, he saw something in me that I didn't see in myself and he has been so supportive along the way my career path. And then especially to uh, VCU School of Medicine and, and um, just VCU as, as the university. Uh, there's been many administrators uh, from Dr. Ruben Rodriguez, um, Dr. Dr. Rao as president of the university. So I had the time to be on the board of visitors and you know they were able to again just provide for me and help me grow as a student. And so you know I thank them, I thank them as well. Please join me in the chat to congratulate 10 under 10 honoree Priscilla Posse. Our next honoree is a 2011 graduate of the College of Engineering. VCU is proud to recognize Wendy Gian Scalia. Wendy set out to be a chemical engineer, not an entrepreneur, but her curiosity took her on a different career path. Ever since a trip to Korea, Wendy wanted to create a piece of technology to help make service at restaurants smoother. She created Tabley. It is a single tap coaster sized piece of technology used to send a signal to a smartwatch worn by the server, notifying them that a guest needs their attention. Wendy's nominator wrote, she has taken an idea and used innovation to create it and implement it in the United States. She is a passionate entrepreneur with the vision and drive to match. Since its full launch in 2019, Wendy and Tabley has been recognized for multiple awards around the country, including top 50 women innovators in the restaurant industry. Now let's hear from Wendy in her own words. I like to thank, um, um, like really like, um, so, so I'll shine naming, naming names. I'll thank uh, Linda, Laura, Kosha. Those are some of my best friends in growing through VCU and then just for the good times, for the hardworking, for, for the togetherness and thank um, uh, David Gallagher, David Fracken and then Steve Stoloff, Brendy Lee, and then everybody that kind of um, helped me with through this entrepreneurial journey uh, and then taught me uh, all that I could to care about the um, family, how to build a company and all of that stuff for the community. And I want to thank my husband uh, who has put up with me and then all of the, uh, <laughs> yeah, all of the other ups and downs and annoyingness and, uh, and then, and then um, essentially acts as my rock and my, my guiding light. And, and then when I'm really, really down or share my happiness when I'm really, really happy. So all, all of that, I feel very fortunate. 
please join me in the chat to congratulate 10 under 10 honoree Wendy Gian Scalia. Our next honoree is a 2013 graduate of the College of Humanities and Sciences and a 2018 graduate of the School of Pharmacy. VCU is proud to recognize David Vu. David's nominator said, he is a thought leader in the field of pharmacy informatics. For him, challenges are opportunities. David is constantly thinking outside the box and innovating. David would not consider himself a typical pharmacist. As a problem solver, he saw a space where he could put his talents to work. Gravitating to non-traditional healthcare careers is what spurred him to establish his own ventures. In 2019, he created the Pharmacy Informatics Academy because he wanted to make pharmacists aware that they could use their skill sets in settings beyond retail and hospitals. Most recently, he founded Dispense As Written, a venture focused on helping healthcare professionals develop their personal brands. Now let's hear from David in his own words. So I would like to thank my dad, my mom, my brothers, Ya, Thomas, Hui, for always being so supportive in everything that I do. So I really appreciate all that. Um, I would like to thank my mentors as well, especially Shanika, for uh, helping me push towards an innovative career path, as well as uh, Dr. Perry Taylor, too. Uh, I would like to also thank my co-founders for the Pharmacy Informatics Academy for being some of the greatest uh, uh, colleagues I've ever met that has shared the same passions as myself. So I'm glad that we were able to push each other forward. And lastly, uh, I would like to thank uh, my, some of my best friends, Robert Gabriel, uh, Ryan Kanner, and Jin Zhao uh, from BC School of Pharmacy that uh, we went through pharmacy school together. We went through a wedding together. Uh, it was uh, a great experience. I'm super glad to have you guys in my life and uh, always encourage me in terms of everything that I do. So, but for everyone, I'd like to thank you for everything that you do for me. Please join me in the chat to congratulate 10 under 10 honoree, David Vu. Our final honoree this evening is a graduate of the College of Humanities and Sciences. VCU is proud to recognize Jonathan Ward. As a steadfast and focused civil servant and US Army veteran, Jonathan believes in government and its potential to affect the lives of its citizens in positive and efficient ways. Governor Ralph Northam appointed Jonathan to his current position as Virginia's Assistant Secretary for Veterans and Defense Affairs in August 2019. In this role, he works to advance issues and policies affecting veterans, service members, and their families within the Office of the Governor and the General Assembly. In the most recent General Assembly session, Jonathan coordinated the advancement of several pieces of legislation concerning improvement of Virginia's existing licensure process. He has always had the mindset to make his current agency better than where he found it. Now let's hear from Jonathan. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, thank you for uh, the honor. I'm very humbled. I don't know why the university went with me, but you know, there it is. Um, but I'm truly appreciative, but I couldn't have gotten here without uh, the uh, belief in me from others and the mentorship and love that others gave me uh, to include my parents, Drew and Kathy, uh, and my uh, adorable, loving wife, Anna, uh, who means so much to me. Uh, and then there's a whole host of mentors and professors uh, that I'd like to thank. Uh, Dr. Condit, uh, Bill Lighty, Dr. Augenbaugh, Mark Smith, uh, Patty Strong, uh, Dr. Saladino, Dr. Wickstrom, Dr. Uh, Stone, uh, Virginia Tutorial, Dr. Klink, Dr. Reed, and Dr. Rodriguez. Thank you so much. Please join me in the chat to congratulate 10 under 10 honoree, Jonathan Ward. Congratulations to this amazing group. Thank you for being here tonight and for helping to shape the national reputation of the university and for so eagerly participating in the life and growth of VCU. VCU loves and appreciates all of its alumni, and we know how incredibly vital they are to the university and its future. I'd also like to thank each of you who are watching tonight because you have supported, encouraged, and cheered on our winners. 
And without you, they likely would not be where they are today. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us. And we look forward to recognizing our honorees throughout this year. Have a great evening and thanks again.